We're gonna get on this thing and go here on the highway. Let's see what this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here it is. Man, I've been wanting to ride this. This is a 2024 Kawasaki Z650. They come in this color and the red version. Uh, 68 horsepower. Uh, digital TFT screen. Stay with me. We're fixing to ride it. This is one of the most popular platforms, the 650. It's got the 650 Ninja motor in it, but it's comfortable, low seat height, LED lights. You can see the oil filter, easy change oil. Stay with me, we're fixing to get on it and go. The first thing you'll notice is this beautiful TFT screen. You've got your uh, traction control over here, all your other stuff at the bottom, range, average speed, all that. Let's get going on it. I'm a 30 inch inseam. My I am flat footed, so man, and it seems extremely light. Let's get out and give this thing a go. Man, this is the first thing I can tell you is you sit down in this bike. So let's get going. A lot of specials at Plano Kawasaki, Suzuki, Aprilia, Moto Guzzi. Uh, it's right before Christmas time. They'll ship you something. If you're not here in Dallas, the first thing I can tell you about this bike is the 23s. I think even the 24s, there's some excellent financing on them through Kawasaki right now. And that's, I think that's up until Christmas. Uh, so I think they've got 5.9% interest that's cheap I mean you're not going to find it that cheap anywhere but you've got your gear indicator your traction control and like I said also this thing will link to a Kawasaki app it's called the Rideology app I'll show you a picture of it and you can pull a bunch of stuff off of it off the app it's pretty neat man it's got all the telemetry in it. Uh, oh, I love that display. Did y'all see it flashing orange? This thing redlines at 10 grand. First thing I can tell you about it is uh, that's probably to show you your economy. Yeah. Let's go up. Yep. So the harder you ride it, it'll flash the RPM gauge. The rider triangle on this is, man, this thing handles good. I don't know what this bike weighs. I'm sure it's probably high 300s, very low 400s. Oh yeah, it's got some pop. This 650 platform is so, uh, so cool because if you're thinking, hey, should I go a 400cc, start there, or go to a 650 platform, start there, uh, it just depends on how, how uh, I guess, apprehensive you are about getting started on a motorcycle. If you've rode something before, you'd probably want to go to a 650. It's got your uh, blinkers on there. Man, that TFT screen is beautiful. Oh, yeah. See that traction control light come on? This thing's got some power. It's like a 60, I think it's 66, 68 horsepower bike. I was reading uh, online about it. Uh, I always try and do that before I get on a bike and do a first ride. But, uh, man, first thing I can tell you, the mirrors, you can see all these mirrors, excellent. I mean, you got a real clear view. But uh, I always do a little investigation on them. <laughs> Horn. Oh, there's your uh, four ways, high beam. And then you got your flash to pass up here. You can see in the back of that car. But uh, you, you've got some buttons down here on the TFT mile per gallon, average range 
average speed, total time, battery voltage, odometer, trip odometer, trip B. It's got everything you need on this. Uh, I'm just so amazed how light it feels. And like I say, I'm a 30 inch inseam and my feet are flat footed. I'm flat, my feet are flat footed. <laughs> I got flat feet. But anyways, man, this thing is, it just feels super light. Uh, the rider triangle, my hands are above my waist here. So it's very relaxed. I almost feel like I'm sitting almost straight up. But, uh, oh yeah, it's got plenty of power. This thing will go. But the handlebars are above my waist. And I'm almost sitting straight up. So there's no, it wouldn't be like a, anything like a sport bike position. This is totally LED, LED brake light, LED uh, indicators. Let's give this thing a little go here. Oh yeah, it's got the grunt. There ain't no doubt about it. This is a perfect, perfect bike for uh, kind of a newer person or if you just want cheap transportation. This bike is $8,100. It's a 20 24 model I mean that is cheap $8,100 for a 2024 model that's brand new factory warranty better slow down we're in a school zone and that is an expensive ticket yep it's not like that position over there all bent over Yeah. It does not have a quick shifter on it, but you could always add that. A quick shifter would allow you to change gears without the clutch. Now you can always rev match what that is if you let off on the gas a little bit and upshift you can you can do it that way, but a little bit trickier. <laughs> Man, I love that display, that display flashing. Can't talk today. Man, such an, such an honor to work with Plano Kawasaki. Uh, they're Texas's biggest dealer for Suzuki, Kawasaki, Aprilia, Piaggio, uh, Moto Guzzi. They, they've set all the records in Texas. So they are the people to go to. Anything it takes to make a deal, they're going to do it. I mean, better turn off my blinker. But, man, I love the front end feel of this bike. It just seems so light. And this thing is not bobbing and weaving and chucking all over the place. And This is cool. See, I just uh, rev match. You let off on the gas a little bit. I'm not using the clutch, but uh, it's got adjustable levers. You can see the knobs here, both brake and clutch side. So uh, at $8,100, you could add ABS to it, and that would per that that would stop the in case you jammed on the front brake or something too hard. I doubt you'll ever do that, but you could. 300 more dollars for ABS to be honest with you I don't know if I would pay that to get ABS but some people would it's it's a good fail safe especially if you're in any kind of uh, dust or uh, anything on the road and you jam on the brakes it, it could save you we're gonna get on this thing and go here on the highway let's see what this thing oh yeah Oh yeah, it's got the snap. There ain't no doubt about it. Man, this is a perfect bike. This is a perfect bike. Wow. I tell you what, this year I am blown away. 
I bought a real high dollar bike and made a huge mistake. Uh, I bought a $27,000 BMW that I really never ride because it's so nice. I don't want to mess it up. It's got carbon wheels, all that. You hit any potholes, it'll blow a $3,000 wheel. Carbon's real easy to break. I mean, it's pretty rigid, but anyways, I'm just so amazed what I could, if I'd have really been thinking what I could have got. But Plano Kawasaki, they're here on 75 in Plano, Texas. And give them a shout there. Uh, look them up on Google. Their information is in the uh, description of all my videos. And if there's any way they can make a deal with you before Christmas or you're trying to get a Christmas present for somebody, they can do it all over the phone. I mean, whatever it takes. If you live in the Metroplex and you can talk to them, they'll even bring you the bike to your house. I think there's a small charge for that. But uh, it's not no $500 delivery fee. They do have four-wheelers, side-by-sides. I mean, they sell a ton of side-by-sides to the government. So they're a government vendor. And I think actually talking about the government, I kind of work for the government, but uh, full time. But uh, I think there's some discount cash for veterans or first, first responders with some of these finance companies. You're not going to find a dealership with better inventory. I mean, they've got every model. Uh, when I get back, I'm going to film a video they've got a 40th anniversary zx10 so hang around and i'll get you some video of that but let's get back on the highway real quick oh yeah this thing's got to go i'm i'm amazed what 67 69 horsepower feels like this is all you need right here excellent bike to learn on that clutch if you drop that clutch that you're not gonna it's not gonna flip you back i mean it's the perfect size motor to uh say you haven't been riding in years but you have rode it's the perfect size to get into and uh, start again if you've never rode before and it'd be your first bike you might want to think about a 400. i know kawasaki's got a 500 coming out uh which is going to be interesting i'll ride that but if you already ride, oh, there's the eco symbol right there. See that? Huh. That's cool, man. You got several levels of traction control. I believe it's three levels. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. I need to pay attention. Let's see here. Yeah, there's one. I know it's got two because it was in two. I think there's three levels of traction control. This would make a perfect little get around town bike. You could put it on the highway because of the the seat position. And it's not going to wear you out all day. My feet are directly below my hips. Directly below my hips. So... If something did happen, you could just, boom, put your put your foot on the ground, I mean, immediately. Just drop your foot, and you'd be there. But, uh, anyway, some technical stuff about this. Uh, 10,000 RPM, 17-inch uh, front wheel, 17 back. I think it's got a 160 on the back, which is a lot of tire. Uh, if you wanted to work on this thing a little bit you could probably you could probably put a pipe on it and uh, flash it and man you'd you'd probably pick up another 10 horsepower probably I, I don't know but but uh, yep see I just dumped the clutch and it no problem you didn't see it jerk or anything like that. 
perfect starter bike right here man I love that TFT got a gas gauge let's get off here let's give it a little go here here we go oh yeah there's 80 mile iron third gear yeah this all you need it's got this bike is fun right here I'm telling you and that's not even redlining it it does have a side glass on the right side of the motor where you can see your oil so when you walk out to it you can look at you know on the right side of your motor and see that you got oil in it just a little stuff the oil filter is down like on the right side of the motor in the front nothing's covering it up so oil changes be cheap just go to Kawasaki get the factory oil filter let's see what this thing feels like in the corner here if I can drag a knee here I ain't a knee dragger I wish I was but man it handles so good it's so light and confidence inspiring yeah it's wanting to pull that front wheel up if you give it all the throttle now it ain't overpowering like a uh, you know 600 cc sport bike or nothing it's but 67 horsepower I'm impressed big time yep all these GoPros are running I've got a brand new Insta Ace Pro that I'm going to start doing my videos with I've had such a problem with these GoPros keeping them I know y'all don't see it uh, in the videos but I've lost a couple of videos because they didn't have mic had mic issues Man, that back brake is perfect. Yeah, I love this bike. This is fun right here. You can look back in some of my first rides. The bike that I'm going to say was super, super fun, but more for an advanced rider, was a Suzuki GSX-S 1000. And I'll put the, uh, the picture of my first ride uh, playlist up here you should be seeing it oh yeah this thing goes man this is fun it handles so good and so light man it rides like a Cadillac it does have passenger pegs on it so you could take your wife or girlfriend or boyfriend on the back and you you know how the world's going right now. I'll probably get blasted in the comments about that, but anyways, man, I like this bike. I like it, I like it, man. Flash to pass, watch that. Yeah. Let's put it in top gear and just roll on. Oh yeah, it goes. There's nothing laggy about this bike. Nothing. This is a sporty little bike. This is fun. You can have more fun on these small bikes than these big one liter monsters that are 20 grand. I'm convinced of that after this year. Seriously. I've always paid top dollar trying to be the big dog and that ain't really where it's at they say <laughs> they say you can ride a slow bike fast and have more fun than riding a fast bike fast bike slow and i believe it man that exhaust sounds pretty good but you got black metal flake which you really can't see it maybe right there a little bit because the sun's going down I love these mirrors I mean you can see out of them real easy to turn got a trellis frame on it this is a big time proven platform for Kawasaki the 650 motors there's no telling how many thousands tens of thousands or a hundred thousand they put in bikes this is in four four different bikes right now a ninja 650 a z650 
Oh, he told me at the dealership, and I can't remember. If you know, leave a comment and correct me. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to get off of it up here and let y'all see it one last time before I take it back. Man, thank y'all so much for the support this year on the channel. I cannot thank you enough. The channel's done really good. Really good. I'm going to start a series about how to start a YouTube channel, how to get monetized. I've already got my uh, first video up on that, but I'm going to break it down start to finish to everything you need to do, how I make the videos, how easy it is. I know you're thinking, oh, the editing is so hard, and it's really not. I promise you, and I'm not a smart guy. I am not a smart guy. I mean, there'll be nobody at my funeral going, man, that was one smart guy. Nobody. I'm just an average guy. But I'm going to show you how to do the transitions and the screens, how to bring it in, how to bring the subject out. It's, it's really simple. It's just a learning process. I'm going to break it down step by step. Let me get off this thing and show you. I will, I will go down here real quick. Take one more little twisty. Oh, yeah, man. Man, this thing handles good. I feel like I want to hang off and drag a knee here. Let me pull off real quick, give you one more walk around, and show you just some key little details about it. Kickstand ray. There we go. Man, that's easy to get to. Oh, yeah. I've had both hips replaced. I could swing my back leg over that seat. 17-inch rear wheel. 17-inch front wheel. It's got your uh, yellow pinstripes on the wheels. Those look good. 16060ZR17 back. This is probably going to be a 120, I would imagine. Uh, where is that at? I don't see it. Both of them Dunlops. Dunlops are top tier tires. There's your oil sight glass. When you stand it up straight, it will uh, show you that there's oil in it. You can see it now. The motor's running. But uh, this is a beautiful bike. I don't know if you can see the paint. This is all under the clear coat, these pinstripes here. And it's like a black fire mist. I call it like a fire mist, like a Cadillac black on the Escalades. LED rear light, LED blinkers. Take you up front here. Show you the headlights. That's super cool. Look at that. Looks That thing looks like Batman or something. Let me see. Let's see what this flash to pass oh that turns the bottom ones on LEDs there 8149 2024 Z650 y'all have a super Christmas have a super holiday leave a comment like the video if you got something out of it there's your oil filter down low I know I'm getting sidetracked anyways we'll talk to you later have a good rest of your year and stay with me. Make sure you're subscribed. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one.